we're going to do a little video on um, vectors now and within the maths um, component. So let's have a let's look, go to these simulations. I'm going to grab this one and this one. Control C, um, press M to control get to the map. Click down here, and I believe this is the geometry area. Yes. Um, what do we have here? Um, understanding number common trig values. Let's put that in that table there, I think, for now. And we'll make a new frame. And let's color that a light blue. I'll call this vectors. And we'll get these simulations in them, in there. Maybe make them a bit bigger. And we're also going to go over to the... Um, the assessments we've got over here, and we'll find something that's to do with vectors. <clears throat> um, I did see something. Where was it? Oh, it's around about here somewhere, I think, maybe. Oh, where is it? Um, okay, here it is. It's called itself trigonometry there, but it's a... Uh, we're looking at column vectors. So we'll put that there as well. All right. So you're going to look at vectors in um, physics as well as maths. They are the same thing, but they're thought about slightly differently. Um, in maths, you'll um, you'll tend to draw them like this. Maybe um, should be a bracket and should be five, four. Now they don't have to actually be two numbers. They can be as many numbers as you like, really, in a vertical line. And you would add them like this. So let's go three, two. Now these these are not fractions, okay? This is the main thing to say at the beginning is that they are not fractions. They don't, they don't behave like fractions um, really at all. Um, let's just shrink it a little bit. So what you do is you simply add the top number and you add the bottom number and that's it. So five plus three is eight and you don't put a line. I nearly put a line there myself. Um, and then four plus two is six. So that's how you add vectors. Okay. Um, and we're going to look at how to, and you take away vectors in the same way. Now, times in them and dividing them, you're not going to really do that at GCSE. Um, I don't even know if you do that at degree at an A level actually, but uh, you might do, but you definitely do it in a degree. So if I were to um, open this, we'll have a look, what do vectors mean, uh, generally speaking? In fact, in terms of in terms of um, physics, this is how you look at them. So, um, and you do draw them in, in maths this way as well. So uh, I'm gonna just grab a vector like this. So a vector is basically, can I change? Yes, I can, okay. So a vector is basically something that has a size, so the length of this arrow, uh, and direction. So, but in physics, we tend to think about the angle. So we, that's 45 degrees, um, that is 26, you know, that, it has a certain angle. But in maths, we tend to think of it um, as a horizontal component and a vertical component. And that's what these two numbers mean here. So you've got the actual size of the vector, which with 22.4, 22.4, but the horizontal component is 20 and the vertical component is 10. Um, so I suppose this does, it doesn't really link, well, I suppose it does link a little bit with trigonometry and it certainly links with Pythagoras because we use Pythagoras to calculate the, um, if, you, if you know either the X, basically you've got the X component, the Y component and the, um, the total, um, and you would use Pythagoras to calculate them. A, a x squared plus a y squared is equal to the this number squared. Um, so, in other words, the classic triangle is the uh, I think three four five triangle. So we'll do let's do thirty across and uh, okay then we haven't got we oh that's a shame it doesn't go up to thirty there. I wonder if we've got another one over here. Oh, we can't change the scales. That's a shame we can't change the scales. Um, anyway, so so C is going to be, yeah, C is going to be the uh, if we if we add them, like I said, you you add the two numbers at the top. So if we let's um, 
let's imagine we can I change hmm okay let's go back to 2d um, okay right I would like to can I do that ah there we go we'll get rid of some of these things right so I guess we're to get the result, I'm adding the 15 plus the 16. I'm not getting um, 31 like I would do if I just added the numbers as normal, but I'm getting 21.9. And that's because this is a vector. So the um, the sum um, the sum is worked out differently. We use it's the components which we consider. But let's um, how can I? Uh, I'm trying to work out a good way to demonstrate the the addition here. So think let's maybe here okay okay let's what about this one um okay well if you play around with this <coughs> this thing here you'll probably find some quite useful it'll, it'll demonstrate what i'm saying maybe if i i just draw it over here instead for now uh so that's how we add them if we're doing it in drawing them out like um, just writing them out like that, but what would a five four vector actually be? It would be across by four and up by five, right? So it'd be something like this, um, where it would have a width of um, actually across by five and up by four. So I'm going to do that again. Oh, I don't know why it's curved arrow. Let's turn that off. So. Essentially, it's five across, five across, and four up. And you could work out the, um, you could work out the, um, the total size by using Pythagoras. But what we're going to do is going to add a vector. So now we're going to do a second line, and this is uh, three um, and two. So it's going to be two across and three up, or something like this, I guess. Oops, let's try that again. I don't want it to stick to the board. Okay, to do that, hold on to control while you're doing it. And so this is uh, roughly, uh, whoops, um, three across and two up. So what we did is we added the bottom ones. Um, so that would be eight of course and we add the top ones so that'll be six up and what we would find is we should get a vector around about that well this is how you would do it if you were actually going to do it with 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 diagrams i suppose so you grab the let's try that again i want to move it if i can i'll try with my mouse Ah, okay. Let's try that again. That's better. Okay. So what you do is you, you would take that one and then you would take this one and you would stick them end to end. Like that. And the and the resultant vector would be from here to there. So be like this. So that should you should find that that's going to be eight across and and that would be yeah, six up. And so if I drew a line from here all the way to there, if it was straight, that is, then that would be the resultant vector. So that would be my vector of eight, six. Okay, so have a look, have a go at these questions here. I'll um, just lay them out. Um, and the answers can be found, oh, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. How do I rotate it? What? Ah, oh, right, I see. We don't need the original file because we've already got it. 
I'll just stretch it out and block it. Okay, so hopefully that file's big enough. If I zoom in, we're at uh, about 100, or maybe maybe a little bit larger then. Um, I'll increase the size of the board as well. Um, frame, sorry. Right. Lock that. That should be good now. And if you want to see the answers, you can just go over here and there they are. That one there. Okay. Okay. Hope that's useful.